What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Valerio White checking in. I go by V for short. And in this video, I'm going to be sharing the top five tips that I use to pass the AWS Cloud Practitioner Certification with no prior technology experience. Okay, now before I get into those tips, I want to show my credentials on Credly as well as give a brief overview of what AWS is and a brief overview of what this cloud practitioner certification is all about. Okay, so if we go here on the Credly website and if we look at my cloud practitioners link, I'll go ahead and click the verify badge. And what it'll show you is that I received this certification December 13th, 2022 by AWS, which is Amazon Web Services. And this is just a verification, um, a digital verification, right, process. All right. Now, second thing I want to go over is what is AWS? As I stated prior, AWS stands for Amazon Web Services, and it's pretty much an on-demand cloud computing platform that powers companies' IT infrastructure, okay? So I want to quickly go over that. And the last thing I want to go over is what is this cloud practitioner certification and what does it mean for you? OK, so if we go directly on AWS's website, let's go ahead and read how they define what this certification is. They say the AWS certified cloud practitioner offers a foundational understanding of AWS cloud concepts, services and terminology. This is a good starting point for individuals in non-technical roles with no prior IT or cloud experience or for those with on-premise IT experience looking for basic AWS cloud fluency. This certification can give candidates the confidence to tackle role-based AWS certifications, okay? And in my words, I would pretty much just explain that to be this is the foundational, this is the starting point, this is going to be your introduction to AWS. And if we scroll further down this page, you'll see that they define it as the foundational. They also will give you 90 minutes to complete the exam. The exam does cost 100 USD dollars and the exam will be a, it will be 65 questions and a combination between multiple choice and multiple response. And you can actually take this exam in person or you can take it virtually in your own space. Um, so they, they definitely make sure that they give you options of how to you know take the exam. All right, so enough of that. So let's go ahead and dive deep into what are these five tips that I use in order to pass this exam, okay? Tip number one, you wanna go to the exam guide for the cloud practitioners exam, okay? So you can go to Google, type in cloud practitioner certification, and then type in exam guide, and the PDF will show up. What this PDF shows you, what this exam guide shows you, is the overview of what to expect in this certification and in this exam, right? Um, so if we scroll through it, you'll see they give you an introduction. They'll give you target candidate uh, descriptions. Keep going down. They give you exam content. As I said prior, this is going to be comprised of multiple choice and multiple responses. If we keep scrolling down, I want to highlight this section. And this section talks about the top four domains, as they call it, but pretty much it's the top four topics that are covered in this exam. And they also give you a weight of how much is uh, weighed on the overall scale uh, for your score. So if we look at it, technology domain three is scaled at 33% for your overall score. So that holds the biggest weight. And then the second biggest weight would be cloud concepts. And then it goes to security and compliance. And then lastly, um, weighing at 16%, which is the lowest, will be the billing and pricing uh, uh, questions, okay? So if we continue to go down through this exam guide, um, they're gonna go through each domain and give a further explanation of it. So cloud concepts, they're gonna go further into explanation of what to expect under that topic. Much like that, they're gonna go through security compliance, technology, and billing and pricing. They're gonna go through all the domains and give you a, a better understanding of what to expect in the certification exam, all right? And lastly, what this exam guide gives you they give you an appendix and the appendix is really cool because it goes over all of the AWS services that could potentially be in the exam. So again, I highly recommend for my tip number one to go through this exam guide, all right? Tip number two, I highly, highly, highly recommend that you take a Udemy course in order to prepare for this uh, exam and this certification. The course that I took is called 
Ultimate AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner by Stefan Merrick. This is a game changer. It is a phenomenal course. Uh, Stefan Merrick did a great job in this course. He goes over all of the information that was that was stated in that exam guide. He goes over it in a way that anybody can understand. If you're a beginner, you can easily understand and follow and follow the courses. Um, the exam actually builds, excuse me, the, uh, the course actually builds on one another. So, uh, you know, he'll start from the, the, the basic services AWS offers, and then he'll build on it. Um, in addition to that, this course has probably over, what is it? Uh, let me see over 500, over 400 different PowerPoint slides. Um, he makes sure that he actually summarizes each of the, uh, AWS services so you can quickly go through it and and have a high level understanding really quick and it's just an overall great course right has hands-on experience and he even gives a practice test so again I highly recommend it so that's tip number two right tip number three is go buy some note cards like the note cards are going to do you justice right in this process so what I personally did with my note cards is the summary slide for all the concepts that Steve uh, Stefan Merrick has in his course I just wrote them down. And what that does is when you write down this information, it helps you better retain it, right? In addition to that, now you have at a high level, the summary of all the major concepts and all the major uh, topics for AWS in preparation for the certification. And you can just quickly look at it throughout the day. Like if you have five minutes uh, and during lunchtime or five minutes, you know, at night before you go to sleep, you can quickly just review and look at your note cards. All right. Just to make sure that you really understand, you know, uh, what you've been learning in the course. Right. Tip number four. And I'm going to be honest with you. This is probably the biggest tip that's going to help you out. And that tip is you want to commit to studying this information at least one hour. Excuse me. One hour a day. Right. I would much rather you commit to studying this one hour a day, Monday through Friday, doing one hour per day than studying for five hours Monday and then don't study until the next week, right? You're going to retain more information. You're going to remember more information by looking at it day after day after day as opposed to trying to cram all this information, right? So again, study at least one hour a day. And here's the thing. If you want to quickly get through this course, because I do recommend you go through this course twice, right? But if you want to quickly get through this course and quickly get your certification, you can increase that one hour commitment to two hours or three hours or four hours, right? But I personally recommend at least one hour a day. Tip number five, take multiple practice tests. Take multiple practice tests. I personally took about five practice tests. And one of the tips I'm going to give you is Stefan Merrick, who uh, gives this Udemy course in preparation for the exam. He also gives another course on Udemy that just gives six practice tests alone. That's what the course is. It's just six practice tests. I highly recommend you get that as well because taking practice tests is very vital to your success in this certification process, right? And here's the reason why. Number one, when you take the practice test, you're going to get in the environment, the mindset of what it's going to be like when you actually take it. And you want to make sure that you set up your, your your living space and you go through the entire test as if you was truly taking the test, right? That's one. Two, if you do decide to purchase Stefan's Merrick's uh, second course that has a six practice test, he gives you literally explanation of why that answer is correct. And he also gives you an explanation of why those answers are wrong, right? That's, t that's uh, the second part. The third part as to why it's so important to take practice tests is because you're going to learn a skill. And that skill is process of elimination. I'm not going to lie. This certification, you have to master that skill. Process of elimination. You're going to see one answer, two answers in the multiple choice and immediately know that that's incorrect. So you, in doing that, you increase your odds of getting that question right if you're unsure of the last two answers, right? Or the last three answers or, you know, what, whatever the case is for that particular uh, question, right? So process of elimination, right? So everybody, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Those are my top five tips that I use in order to pass the AWS Cloud Practitioner Certification Exam. If you like this content, please remember to like and share um, you know, to get more content like this, as well as, you know, definitely subscribe to, uh, this channel in order to follow my tech journey. Right. And comment down below. Like if you decide that you want to go ahead and take the route of getting your own cloud practitioner exam, 
uh, certification. All right. So again, this is Valerio checking out. I'm going to say peace and God bless. Peace.